Okay guys, first of all, Spadia is not just a YouTube channel. We have also digital products, physical products, which are going to help you about everything we talk about in these videos. You can find the two links in the descriptions below. And now let's get back to the video you came here to actually watch. Hello everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video on the Spadia channel. We have an additional banger for you guys, and this is all about optimizing your own attitude and changing it, especially for the guys who are struggling to basically keep going back to the gym, be a special seeing results, because what we are going to be talking about, I believe the main effects outside of what uh, you could have been told about fitness and how it helps you, especially not just in terms of your own appearance and your own body and even health, because that's a huge, I think that's probably the number one reason why we even try to do fitness, like for example, as we usually say, lifting, our speed training, aesthetics, and any other endeavor uh, in this category. But there are, I would say, amazing effects which you will be seeing, especially over the long term, if you are able to stick to the gym. And this doesn't mean that you have to actually go to the gym on a literally a proper schedule. It's fine to miss, let's say, one day. Although I would say that the best case would be that you're able to get on basically a system where you aren't even quitting for at least the first year or two, uh, even one day based on the system that you've set up because you would be able to uh, figure out how you are actually one able to follow a system such as that that you aren't even quitting or missing any of the day that you've set up your gym schedule to be on, which is absolutely huge for your own mindset towards it. And the second thing is that it basically allows you to actually compare uh, your own fitness regime is much faster. So for example, if you have, are sometimes struggling to get back to the gym versus the other times when you are absolutely uh, locked in to go to the gym every day, well, if you go to the gym on, on every day that you've set up your system or your uh, fitness program, to go there it doesn't mean that you will have to go to the gym every day of course but you will have a lot more time to for example test things in the gym and you will have more time to basically see what works and what doesn't so again like the more time you spend in in the gym that allows you to much more easily be able to figure out and much faster especially much faster what works and what doesn't now, outside of this whole spectrum of health appearance which is what i believe most of us started our gym journeys for in the first place i do believe that actually gym is only about 20% about what actually happens inside of it. And what do I mean by that is that most of these effects on health and we will be talking mostly in this video about cognition and your own uh, psychological state. Those actually, in my opinion, are mostly changing outside of the gym itself. Now, how this actually triggers down and what, how you could actually perceive it is that when you actually go to the gym, well, one of the things which you've already discussed on this channel is that what you might notice is that if you actually go to the gym and you do a pretty good session, especially if you haven't been there, uh, you might have some cramps after. It might feel amazing but horrifying at the same time for many of us and even for many of us who actually go to the gym regularly. On that front, we often have still workouts which are just absolute killers. You don't even think you could have done it or could have lifted such weight, but you have done so. But in terms of basically is able to change instead of just your health and appearance, and even if you don't see the effect on that, basically just going with fitness as much as you can, in my opinion, does change your habits. And especially in this scenario, what I'm talking about is that if you've gone to the gym, you might have noticed that after uh, basically walking out, you are much less likely to actually indulge on things, in my opinion, like pizzas or especially fast food. You would probably rather actually eat something more healthy. Maybe usually, at least it's been the case of the people that I've known, it would usually be something more, let's say, on the health, healthy side, such as some meat or vegetables as well. But especially there isn't such a huge inkling to get something which isn't necessarily the best for us. And this is how you can see that the effects on habits and especially on what you eat in just this one scenario can be seen immediately after the gym. But when you actually figure out that, okay, I might want to be going to the gym, for example, five times a week, for some people it might be even seven, or it doesn't even have to be gym if you are a sports athlete as well. You can just see how those guys have completely different habits and lifestyles because of just the nature of the work and how much time they put into, for example, sports and also gym. That completely changes their own mindset pretty much uh, automatically and immediately. One thing towards food, but also towards basically taking more of responsibility for other areas of your life. So for example, this would be also taking responsibility of what you eat, but you might also take more responsibility for making sure that you wake up at the same time, that you don't stay up late if you don't need to, 
or that if you are basically better in your work if you wake up a bit earlier as well basically gym allows you to have the mindset prepared to be able to actually make the sacrifice let's say to go to sleep early and to be able to also wake up early so this is absolutely huge and this is all outside of the realm of health would be basically talked about as such in appearance but gym basically automatically gives you the ability to actually want to improve other areas of your life and this is especially why it would be apparent over the long term because as you can see as you do more and more of your gym sessions uh, this basically stacks up i think i believe there is also a term of, which is also a great book which you might read which is the, called the compounding effect and this is basically how you can see that all over time as you as you basically go to the gym and basically it also comes back onto it because it takes more responsibility for other areas of your life you improve your diet you improve your sleep schedule, you improve your relationships thanks to that as well as you might have a better attitude at work for example too because of actually having such systems in your life that allows you then to be able to perform much better in the gym and you can see how there is sort of a loop which helps you a lot in all areas of, of your life. Now this whole thing in my opinion it doesn't take a long time to set up but it takes a long time to fully be noticed by you in my opinion because it can take months before you actually notice how your life was before and after as you notice all of this effect but it doesn't actually take years but this is the beautiful thing about uh, fitness in this uh, case that even if for example you aren't training in the best way you don't have a fitness train for example you might not have the cash to actually have have one you may be in the third case in a situation where you can't even get a trainer or help so you might be relying just on for example youtube videos or you might be even in a situation where you don't even have that in those cases there are many variables which could uh, mean that your progress in fitness and in the gym isn't as good as you would have liked it to be which is the reason also why many people may quit especially for example if you're trying to lose weight or gain muscle as well but all this cognitive effect that we've talked about a couple of seconds ago those will still happen and this is why i think it's especially important to know that there are huge changes that happen even outside of your own appearance when you actually go to the gym there are many habits which you basically take on and a lot of them which you ditch if you had a lot of bad habits previously if you actually decide to go to the gym and to especially stick to it even if you don't see the changes in your own appearance because what will happen and i would say this is true for 99 percent of people there may be some genetics at play as, as well but it's cognitive effects basically applied to all of us and also additionally thanks to these changes in habit in terms of what you watch with your sleep schedule that again fits back into your gym sessions as well so just because of the effects on the cognition that gym has it can then feed back to you improving your performance in the gym both uh, based on your mindset and both based on you improving your ability to actually perform the exercise as well and then that allows you to actually lose the weight for example or you would be able to actually pack on the muscle for example if you haven't previously had a cash for fitness training before well thanks to some systems you've set up maybe advancing in your career since you've taken more responsibility you might be able to actually get one and that even can take years but this is how you can just basically stick to it and it's something like a huge cognitive tool which you can use and additionally it's also been shown which is a huge thing that basically to offset any age related cognitive decline so for example alzheimer's and any similar so basically psychological issues it seems to be that exercise is basically the number one predictor of how to prevent that so it's basically just stressing your system as much as you can and seems to be that basically fitness and especially weightlifting seems to be great against that so also when we are just coming back to the health category it basically helps you to perform even more as the older you get so all on all these categories you can see how even despite for example you're not advancing for example your appearance in terms of increasing your muscle size or in terms of losing fat it can actually help you back course then to accomplish those goals but there are many changes which are happening especially inside your brain when you actually do the gym that are absolutely huge for you and especially your life in all categories so basically just make sure that you actually can get to the gym and this is going to be also the last point which i have for you guys and especially for who may be struggling to go to the gym regularly and for people who especially i would say this would apply for younger men as, as well what you might realize is that if you are for example a person who watches movies a lot i mean a lot uh, like for example you can binge watch all well, nowadays a series or a tv for hours and hours or for example if you are a video gamer as well all the same systems that actually drive you to be mot motivated to go to the gym are basically used by games now how this would actually look like is that basically 
gym is in itself a tool to improve your own life and games are basically designed in a very similar fashion where you might be improving your own character, a nation or even a, a group of people where you might also interact with different people as well and it's basically using the same uh, pathways in your brain and especially thanks to using the hormone dopamine which is responsible for, for your drive and ability to motivate it to perform it's using basically the same pathway and so if you are able to basically elevate your dopamine while sitting at home while your body doesn't have to do much for it it's much easier for it to basically be stuck at home and to be doing no nothing than going to the gym and actually having a hard session and because it's basically using the same pathways it's quite hard to actually be mot motivated to the gym i think it's actually damn near impossible for people to do because it's basically using the same pathways now, if you are struggling to get back to gym and you are one of the people who might be watching movies quite a lot and video games as well, there is basically a huge thing you can do which works, in my opinion, just in a day. If you are able for a couple of hours to abstain from those activities, and I would also encourage to abstain from especially social media and the newsfeed part of it, if you are able to stay away from it and try it then for the next day when you wake up, when you don't do any of those activities, just see how you feel and how you are motivated today to actually go to the gym when you aren't even thinking of putting up a movie or video game or let's say going on a social media to check your news feed if you don't do any of those activities and also additionally no alcohol <coughs> as well and similar drugs then you will see a huge difference which just works within a day of how much you actually want to go to the gym because you pretty much have nothing else to do which is one thing and gym is actually a very motivating thing to do is just when we are actually doing all of these things which are easier for us to do uh, metabolically speaking which also elevate our dopamine it's basically using the same system that one that allows us to want to go to the gym and there is basically just no uh, drive motivation left to actually do the hard thing and you can also see how this basically trickles down into other areas of your life if you are for example a person who does play with video games quite often but Basically, since this video is most mostly about fitness, I think this is where we would actually end uh, the topic. But this is a huge thing which you can just test in one day. So this is additionally a tool for you guys who actually st struggle to go there and then to see how, how we will actually end up. And if you have any questions about it, you can also write down into comments. So thank you guys. Hopefully we'll have amazing summer as, as well and see you in the next video. Bye.